extremely appreciate everything that you are doing to get his story out there to as many people as possible. A difficult day as the parents of the missing UC students speak publicly for the first time. We just have no clues at this point. And struggle with the absence of any good leads. It is time for a family dinner night. We love you, Brooks. Holding out hope their son will be found safe and sound. Good evening to you. I'm Cherie Poello. Mike Dardis has the night off. Broken Dully has now been missing since Sunday. And with each day, more people join the search to find him. WLWT News Finds Brian Hamrick joins us live with the message that Broken's parents wanted you to hear tonight. Brian. Yes, Cherie. Well, the search continues to grow here tonight. In fact, more than a thousand have taken part so far. Meanwhile, the parents of Brogan Dolly speak publicly for the first time, saying there was nothing out of the ordinary on the hours and days before he vanished. The most difficult message for Brogan Dolly's family to deliver. Brogan, we love you and we miss you terribly. We're worried sick about you. Was the one that went directly to him. Dad and I, and your brothers, and your sister. We need you home. Brogan's parents, Beth and Tom Dully, say there is no apparent reason for Brogan to simply disappear on his own. We just have no clues at this point. These are the last known images of Brogan captured on a security camera about 2:10 Sunday morning. Police say he was looking for his cell phone after being out. Meanwhile, teens continue to search systematically. So far, nothing has turned up. And the possibility of what happened hasn't narrowed for police either. We're open to anything. Uh, what we do know is Mr. Dooley is missing, and we're trying to find what the reason is for that. So, no, we've not ruled out anything. There are no solid answers, especially given the character of the young man and his reliability about showing up for work. The minute we received the call that he had missed work was the win minute we knew something was very wrong. This is completely out of character for him. As everyone tries to solve a puzzling mystery with too many pieces that just don't seem to fit. And today, police say they're working to examine all of Brogan's electronic devices, iPads, computers, anything he had access to, to see if there's any clue there. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5.